the seven wonders of the world. Christ the Redeemer, the Taj Mahal, the Great Pyramids, truly man's greatest achievements. But there's one man who sees them differently. If that was on my road, the council would be on it. They'd go, get that down. It's a death trap. <laughs> Carl Pilkington. It's like a pylon. <laughs> I don't know the politically correct term. Moron, I think. He is a round, empty-headed, chimp-like, mank, moron, buffoon, idiot. Is that normal? And he's a friend. Oh. We've often described him as being like some kind of real-life Homer Simpson. Homer is small-minded, petty, but at, at his core, a good person. And lovable. Absolutely lovable. It's like a game of Jenga that's got out of hand. I can't get enough of him. Is everyone going to be wearing this? He's a typical little Englander, and he doesn't like going out of his comfort zone. Bollocks are squashed. I just think that it'd be amazing to send him round the world. What we'd like to see is him experience other cultures, other peoples, and see if in any way we can change his outlook on the world. <laughs> I've been to many exotic places. I genuinely think travel uh, broadens the mind. I want him to hate it. I want him to hate every minute of it for my own amusement. Nothing is funnier than Carl in a corner being poked by a stick. I am that stick. And now I have the mic of Sky behind me. Oh, <laughs> this is one of the funniest, most expensive practical jokes I've ever done. And it's going to be great. Just let me go home. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah.